We begin with Nate McMillan and in Indiana, T.J. Warren along with Tamanis Sabonis. Pass and stone. <laughs> and we are running tonight for line and trade. Tobias Harris injected them with some badly needed energy early in the third quarter. Did some pretty big shots. That would be the issues as Lamb misses that little jumper in the lane. Just because he means well doesn't guarantee it's going to succeed. Ben Simmons always put it in the game to help seal the comeback victory for the Sixers. And to end basketball from 2-5. TJ Warren continued to score a lot in the NBA, so much so they call him Tony Bucket. So it's Embiid erasing this. Think he was thinking it wouldn't go. <laughs> <laughs> maybe just that Joel wouldn't notice. Maybe best in the NBA. Embiid working over Miles Turner, a three from Quirk Miles, and down it goes for Quirk on the defense. Equal to the Pacers, Simmons. Horford getting a touch. Carries the three out. Horford. Good times, plays. Uh, more good times in the meantime as Ben Simmons found Tobias Harris. Here was a 10 win NBA team. Just a special guy. Got a chance to talk to as Brogdon knocks down another. TJ in the NBA. Again, special score, streaky at three, three point line, but he can knock him down. James three. Harris, strong move to the cup. Tobias Harris again with the offhand. And Tobias three of five. He has six here in the first. Warren again. Hesitation and then up for two. And Simmons finished that time through the contact. The elbow in that flick of the wrist, a very compact shooting motion, but very effective. What you think of? And B, there's the double. Neto, oh, a sweet pass by Raul Neto. Looked like much would materialize from it, but Raul able to salvage something out of it. Raul Neto with the pit, these nice assists. For a minute now, remaining in the first. McConnell, who rarely turns it over, just did, and Neto's going to solo. The Pacers get it back, the Sixers would have about a gift. Give and go, the oldest play in the world of basketball. He passes JoJo, the defense has to stay honest, so he sees the back of one of his defenders' heads, he just takes off in the cup. We know McClep will defend. Second quarter now officially underway. Serena winners, Ali Abdelani marks him up, bringing you all the accolades professionally in Belgium. And B given room, and he delivers. Scott and Tobias Harris, the forwards. And B got it done. Compliments to Mike Scott. Victory came last night. An overtime win at home against Atlanta as MB got the contact and the bucket. Something no one buying. McConnell got it done. TJ McConnell. Yeah. Oh, I get it. The game within the game. Yeah, try to shut it down on the other end, go right at him. Trailing by as many as 16, that leads the NBA. Uh, the Knicks here uh, 10 days ago was 17, wasn't it? Exactly. Simmons with seven. That's money. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know that's money. Yeah. He shoots. Yep. yep. And perseverance. It's just it's, it's inspirational to meet people like that. Out in the right wing off of the bed pass earlier in the first quarter. That time the left wing. There is your professional. By the way, the Pacers have cornered the market on TJ's. <laughs> it's Malcolm Brogdon gets all the way. It's TJ Warren, TJ McConnell, TJ Leaf, who is yet to play. Wow. And they had TJ Ford a few years ago. Well, I think it's a lot. Al Horford has a going out position. The Sixers, who struggled from beyond last night. Six of nine, we should mention Miles Turner and that man both back. And has crashed in the offensive glass. Horford his first miss. Warren bursting in and he finishes with a left hand. Wants to stay out of the floor, want to be effective. 
and make your throws. Brock and Boyd. Was that a great change of pair? Even as Batiste is trying to chase him down, he's avoiding him with the dribble. Burke on Corkma for three. Pick a cherries, Warren, and he'll slam for two. Sixers had 38 points in the first quarter. Sometimes that's fool's goal because they're not defending up to their capabilities here as Korkmaz and Bede. And coming around to take it away was Justin Holiday. Well, they overloaded the one side. It's for three. Here is a leaking Justin Holiday, and just like that, we are Pacers taken to overtime before they prevailed by a point last night at home against Atlanta. Jeremy Lamb giving the Pacers their first lead since they led 7-5. Ben Simmons had it taken away from him, but they're cleaning up. It was Al Horn basketball, but then a flurry of turnovers, live ball turnovers, and suddenly the Pacers scrambled back into the picture as Joel Embiid. They get it to JoJo eventually, just get it in. Embiid, who dares to try to stop him? Euro stepping his way. Miles Turner in the post. Turner too light for Ben. Brogdon somehow escaping and scoring. Warren working it with Sabonis. Embiid was looming. Good patience. First layup. Embiid thinking three again. And as Joel maneuvers in, this is the three. Work on two of six from beyond. Warren just getting his. A couple of nights off every once in a while. The zone two one two. Warren is able to bust it. No. Warren again, Horford on him, got a piece of the rock, and there is Sabonis by four. Horford, an opportunity now with Embiid out of the game to get into the lane and do his thing. Al Horford, six of seven for his 15. Took his time. Wow. Too easy. That wasn't even a pass. That was just bring the ball down across half court and then go straight to the cup. Just like that. Like, like Scott's first time in the second half for the Sixers. Major turnover issues. Quite a play by Simmons. That was tremendous. It looked like a lot or anything was going to come of that last possession. Maybe the salvage three. Buckets. What a luxury it must be for Nate. You need a bucket, just go to him. Matisse Bible navigating the baseline. Brogdon. You know. Embiid. Got it. Given room. Joel Embiid. Under 40 seconds to play here in the third. Football is trying to deal with Aaron Holiday and Alvaro. Just any holiday, period. Summer, spring. Kirk Maz carries the three to put the six. Improvise. He's got to do something like that. Come and get it out of his hand, people. There's McDermott doing with Doug McDermott. Interesting because when I was watching him before the game, he was making everything from the wing, but missing everything from the top of the key. There he makes one. Tobias. Tobias. Giving it up. Justin Holiday's done stiff competition from Indiana. It seemed like Good story, Serena. And while, yes, he does have the Pacers jersey on, the jersey closest to his heart, the Sixer jersey, presumably the one he got from Al Horford back into the game. A rest for Joel Embiid. Ennis encountered it, and there was Simmons. Well done by... Harris. Once Justin Holiday takes him to the weight room and has his way to Simmons all over Brogdon. There's Brogdon, three for three, and down it goes in a timeout. Break. Harris for the tie. Got it! Tobias Hare. Lamb working it with Sabonis. 
They're going to run virtually unstoppable. And the steal by Simmons. Sixers looking to go in front. Here goes Harris. And he's going for two. Brogdon. Al Horford in the game. There is Embiid. Simmons took it away again. Here goes Harris on a breakaway. And he's going to wisely pull it out at a foul. Defensively. Lamb throws it. Intercepted by guess who? Ben Simmons. And this one is over. The Sixers win it by three in dramatic fashion. And in a game that featured very little...